Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm Draft Special. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone and Bezel. Hello. Hello Jim, oh my goodness, after uh, the greatest night of my year so far on Monday, outwitting Gorilla Mezzo left, right and centre, I couldn't stay away, I had to come back for round two, even if it means putting up with him again on Friday Night Stand Firm, baby. Woo! And I am excited to be here as well. I've got so much to say that I don't even want to do it here. I am going down to ringside. Oh, baby. <laughs> Very excited to see Bezel in the middle of the ring. If you've never seen any JFW before. <laughs> what an introduction this is going to be. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Have we at least got him to put some pants on? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely <Limit>. not. <laughs> I guess it is Friday night. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Friday Stand Firm, the second half of our amazing epic draft. We are splitting the brands. If you miss Monday's show, you better have a damn good excuse. Uh, one way or the other, I am going to tell you what you missed. Uh, we've got Mr. Jims McMahon picking wrestlers for Monday Night Claw. He's doing it through a proxy, Rick Schiavone, because he's too cowardly to show up here in person. He's been picking what you might expect, all the biggest, strongest, most brute forciest wrestlers you're ever going to see. Well, he started with Goliath and his giant belt, and we've added to the Monday Night Claw roster with people like Tony Plays Poorly, Purple Chest, Peppered Biscuit, Noalius, and the metal monster himself, Extra Arms Bot. Gorilla Mezzo is drafting people for Friday, stand firm, and as you might expect, he's gone with a bit more of a smaller lineup. He likes the agile, the more technical wrestlers. He's starting with the Plim Plum Pluserweight Champion, Muppet Pac-Man, and he's added people like Squirrel Dude, and Johnny Be Good and Night Demon. It's going to be the show you want to watch if you like the more high flying, fast paced craziness and stand firm. Now, we also know big things happening in the tag team division. Uh, Monday Night Claw will, of course, be the home of the Two Heads Championship, but Gorilla has picked four tag teams already for his side of the draft. Uh, most notably, Cock and Ball Torture, one of the biggest <laughs> tag teams ever to hit the JFW. So we can expect some more shakeups in the Two Heads division. We've got the second half of the draft. It's 15 more picks and some epic matches to come. Stay tuned. Wow, what, what amazing timing by Bezel. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Everything I do is perfectly timed. <laughs> Glorious. And it's good to be back here in the booth. Still no no Gorilla Mezzo. That's... Oh, wait a minute. I'm I'm getting a call here. Hold on just a sec. Oh, no, that's terrible news. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, wow. All right, everyone. I, I'm sorry to have to bring you all uh, this this awful news. I've just been informed that Gorilla Mezzo has been kidnapped. He was grabbed just outside the arena by two unknown assailants with thick Liverpool accents, beaten and thrown into it was probably a stolen car. I don't know if this is just another random act of violence that you get here pretty frequently, or if it's Mr. Jim McMahon trying to rig the draft even further in his favor, but uh, we will keep you updated with news about this. Uh, as soon as we get it. In the meantime, uh, who, what, what do we do? I mean, we, the draft has to go on, right? It does. And then ne next on the clock is 
Rick Schiavone drafting to claw. Oh no. How terrible that Gorilla's been kidnapped and beaten up. I'm uh, sorry, guys. I'm I'm just really emotional right now. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a think about this. So, just as a final recap, there, the very last pick of last uh, of uh, Monday Night Claw was Zetok the Dane by Gorilla. So I'm gonna come in tonight and take the best part of Dank Tank's Revolution, the superstar himself, PTK, baby. Boy, okay, I and I guess there's nobody else here to pick, and I mean somebody's got to do it, right? For stand firm, uh, I I guess it's me. I don't know what uh, Gorilla's plans were or who he wanted to take, but I'm just gonna have to guess and do my best. Uh, let's see. If I was Gorilla Mezzo, I'm a big fan of science, fact, what cold hard logic. I would probably pick Mister Three Plus One Equals Six himself. Dimmy the champ G. <laughs> oh, baby. Amazing. Oh, I'm so glad it's you, BZL. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Oh, yeah. Great, great pick. Great pick. Um, yeah, I'm gutted. Um, okay. Well, I, I tell you what, there, there, is a, there is a superstar close to my heart uh, and right now close to me in, in many ways that I absolutely adore. So uh, I'm delighted to be sharing the booth and doing business with him tonight. I'm going to take the man, the myth, the legend, Bezel himself. I'm taking you, Bezel. That's going to be a lot of fun for me to be on Monday Night Claw. But today it's Friday, stand firm, and it's all business. I think Gorilla Mezzo would be pretty disappointed to lose my amazing entrance, my walk to the ring. Uh, who else could possibly compensate? Let's take... Thaw the Waitrix. Oh, wow. Nice. Not, that genuinely nice pick. Huge guy. God of Thunder himself. Uh, he can he can get it done, Connie, on any given night. That's, yeah, that's a good pick. Fair play. Fair play. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. You're not, you're not making this uh, quite as easy for me as I was I was hoping. Um, all right. I can't, I can't miss out on all four of them. They are uh, the beloved... Quad Skulls. I need somebody to go with Rick here. I'm going to take Jack Bull, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Do your oh, tasks, baby. brother. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much he's involved in a match. He will celebrate afterwards. Woo! Now, news about you know, what's happened to Gorilla Mezzo. It's still a little sketchy, a little hard to uh, come by at this point. It's a developing situation, but... Uh, there's a distinct possibility that he is currently locked in the trunk of Mr. Humorous Chimp's car. Uh, let's just take Chimp, and uh, we might even get Gorilla back in the bargain. <laughs> let's, let's hope his grandmother's insulin is, <laughs> is safe and sound. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. All right, we're going to interrupt the draft for a bit, uh, just the same as we did on Monday, we're gonna have a couple of matches. Let's start with Dimmy and PTK, the first picks from today. Let's see what they can do. Glorious. Dimmy! The champ is here. Not actually the champ. Is. <laughs> he must be the champ of something at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been informed a bit so many times that it must be true. That's that's how news works. Yeah. You know, throw any insult at him that you like, and to be fair, it's probably all true. But he, the fans do love him, don't they? He's a popular guy. He certainly is, and he's not a bad wrestler either. Yeah. No, oh, he's had some some really really big wins. Won the world championship at, uh, at Hell in a Cell last year, uh, deservedly so. Didn't hang on to it forever, but uh, but yeah, really really nice nice win that night. Uh, the, probably the crowning moment in his career so far. But there's plenty more to come from him. Yeah, there certainly is, and he, as you say, there he is. He was at one point a champ. <laughs> Oh boy. And I'm not sure K-Fog's ever been a champ in, in JFW, which is crazy because he's the perennial champ of Blood Bowl, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he sure knows how to win. And uh, 
to be fair, the, the Dance Dance Revolution, they loved the limelight and they got on really well together. But as an actual functioning tag team, they just didn't quite click. This could be the, uh, the glorious start for both of them with Zetok now on Friday Night Stand Firm where the Plimplom Pluserweight division is and PTK in with the big boys on Monday Night Claw. We might see them both go on to win plenty of gold in the near future. Be great to see. I think they both deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> They've been laboring in relative obscurity, uh, um, not uh, winning an awful lot as a tag team, and it'd be good to see them you know, each put together a solo run. Maybe there are some plans. We could team PTK up with somebody new, see if that works out better. Who knows? We'll find out. But for now, Dimmy is leading. <laughs> quickest, quickest victory in uh, JFW history here. Oh, the, oh PTK oh. going for the ref. Oh, wow. Dimmy takes advantage. <laughs> Not sure I've seen that before. <laughs> no. What, good thinking from Dimmy? Well, that too. <laughs> The immediate attack, the ref. <laughs> We've not seen that win matches before. <laughs> oh, and, uh, the advantage doesn't last about. long, though. Gets absolutely dumped out by PTK unceremoniously. How many feet of concrete tonight, guys? 27 feet of concrete. and Oh, that's, that for non-pay-per-view, that's significant. It is. Oh, my goodness, just crushed <laughs> against the apron. The hardest part of the ring as well. PTK in full control. No, Dibby blocks it. Right hand, right hands again. Raining them in. Oh, but the slap from PTK. Ooh. A dismissive pimp slap. <laughs> <laughs> what other jobs are you going to get, to be fair, in that outfit? Oh, the massive press slam. <laughs> the strength of PTK to get Dimmy up and over like that is astonishing. <laughs> Dimmy sweep the leg. Are you, are you trying to say Dimmy's fat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not at all trying to suggest that a man that lives purely off kebab, barbecue, and beer <laughs> would be possibly just a teensy bit overweight. No, that is definitely not the case. No, he's, he's, he couldn't be anything other than physical perfection. Just he is a body. pure athlete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, that is. what a spinning wow. back fist. That absolutely flattened Dibby, but look at this. He's already fighting back up. Uh, I normally wouldn't have a horse in this race. I do love both of these guys, but uh, I've got to go for the Monday Night Claw Superstar. PTK, oh my goodness, dumps Dimmy up and over. I'm hoping that we go 3-0-0, as we'd say in Blood Bowl terms, in the Claw versus Stand Firm matches that we've had this week, and PTK picks this one up. Yeah, I'm a little torn. I, I'm suddenly I'm going to be fighting on the Monday Night Claw. i got to pull for those guys, but I just picked... Dimmy myself for the stand firm team. Kind of hoping uh, that he can uh, show that he was worth it. Yeah, fa fair shout. I, I don't blame you at all. Like I say, on any other given night, I, I might cheer for him myself, but I'm, I'm all PTK tonight. But it might be Dimmy right now. He gets, oh no, just a one. <laughs> it's a little early to be able to pull that off. Kind of a hopeful pin. It was, and I feel like PTK has got the best of it so far. Uh, PTK does sometimes burn out later in the matches, though. So uh, if Dibby keeps this up and hangs in there, he will have an opportunity later on, you would think. But it's not easy. Oh, that's nice, though. Knee to the side of the head. PTK is struggling to get back to his feet. He looks a little stunned at the moment, but he's able to kick that. Oh, yeah, that's going to help. I don't think it's going to win it in, though. Just the one count as well, but maybe if you find something big. He might put this one away. Oh, no. Dibby catches the oh, leg. Oh, wow. Oh, Whoa. no. <laughs> For all of those of you who doubted Dimmy's physical perfection, you can't do a lift like that unless you've been working out 18 hours a day. <laughs> Incredible. Possibly skipping leg day. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard conflicting re reports about that. Oh, we're, at, we're up to a two count. Only just a two count, but a two count nonetheless. Dimmy making progress. Come on, Monday Night Claw pick. Don't prove me wrong. Oh boy. At least I'm definitively smarter than uh, Gorilla Mezzo, as he hasn't turned up today, but uh, might be proven to be uh, outwitted by Bezel. Timmy the champ, has he got it? Might have it. What a move. Oh, he's oh, done it. Oh, my what? goodness. That's about as close as he's going to get oh. without winning. <laughs> yeah, we'll oh, is. Is Kev running out of steam? Is Dimmy moving again? Go for a rest. 
One of uh, one of Dibby's favourite moves. <laughs> Again, pure, absolute pure athletes. Showing everybody how it's done. Oh, what a neck breaker. To be fair, perfectly executed. Yeah, Matt seems to be turning in his favour now. Kevin's starting to run out of steam. Yeah, it's, sadly, it has been a slightly classic uh, PTK match. Came absolutely blazing out the blocks, destroyed Dimmy for a few minutes, and then uh, kind of blew up a bit, and uh, Dimmy's been in control ever since. And that could be it. Oh, he's going to cheat. Oh. Ref, ref, no, he's not seen it. Oh, my God. Oh, nope. PTK with a German suplex. Is yeah, this the turnaround that. moment that we needed? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this doesn't seem wise. Now this looks like an all-or-nothing play. It's and you've got it all. It's, it's all, baby. Surely that's it. No man gets up for that. He doesn't go for the pin. Oh, my God. Please, PTK. Put him away. Feeding him into the turnbuckle. The steel shoulder first. Oh, he could pin him now, but he's got bloodlust in his eyes. He wants more pain. I didn't even hold on to the uh, the sit-down powerbomb. Could have taken that as the pin. You're right. You're right, Bezel. He's uh, absolutely furious with Dimmy for some reason. It's as if Dimmy's been trolling him and everybody else for the last two or three years in the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that of Dimmy the champ. Exactly. exactly. I don't know where PTK has got that idea from. <laughs> well, sometimes when you're just so angry about things, uh, you're you don't reason at the at your best. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, PTK having to take a long breather there. Thankfully, no recovery from Dimmy. PTK able to continue his offense after catching his breath. Oh, but here he comes, the champ with another neck breaker, a variation of the last one. He's getting all sorts of trouble all over again. No, he breaks free. Powers out. Uppercut. Oh, oh, oh that's got to be it. Still not going for the pin. Oh, he's gone for a submission. Oh, the champ's going to tap. The champ's going to tap, baby. This is not something you see from PTK all that often. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. You don't see that happen to him either. You really don't. We have seen PTK get counted out before. We have, yeah. <laughs> hilarious, in hilarious fashion. <laughs> Just simply, yeah, quite early in a match, refusing to get up and get back in the ring <laughs> for a whole 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, oh, but he blocked Dimmy into the steps and gets in. Oh, uh, Dimmy's fine. He's going to make it back, isn't he? Looks like he is, yeah. Easy. And he stunned PTK en route. Really smart play from Dimmy. <laughs> Belly to back. Nobody wanting to put this away, though. Nobody trying for the pin. Surely at the moment when people are at the most vulnerable. Oh, that's it, though. That's got to be it. It's got to be close to the end one way or the other. These two guys oh. are out on their feet. Cheating Dimmy. again. I don't know. Cheating again. Dimmy's so dirty. <laughs> What a villain these Friday night stand firm superstars are. Here we are, the Monday night clause superstars trying to have an honest wrestling match. Oh, boy. Oh, but we don't need it, to be fair. We can win clean against cheats any day. What a powerbomb. It's over. It's over. Monday night clause 3 0 0. Woo! Woo! One, two, three. That's it for Evans, our winner. <laughs> Glorious PTK. Great to see him. Great to see him in one on one action, isn't it? It is, and I think we're going to see more of that in the weeks and months to come on Monday Night Claw. Yep. But now it's time for the draft to continue. We've got uh, maybe a dozen more picks on each side. Rick Shivani, you are up next on the clock. All right, well, I was having to think about this during the match, um, and all I can say is, can you show what The Rock is cooking? I'm going for a Donticles, baby. Woo! Oh, if you... Uh, oh, if that's you just, next one, Dick. Just bear with me for a second. <laughs> it was, uh, it was one of the absolute wonders of the very, very early days of the JFW, Donticles picking up many, many wings back in the day. 
Yes. The Adonta Bomb famous move. Yeah, there we and go. It's on screen. Mr. Adonta Kellis himself. Absolutely. Uh, that put me on the clock. Yep. And I was thinking during the match, the one thing that Stand Firm lacks so far is the a face to be the front page of the show. The one thing that people will see and think about, and I'm sure everybody will love them. Uh, what else could we possibly pick right now but just Joe? Glorious. Oh, that's a great pick. He, he is the happiest man in the JFW and uh, can't help but put the viewers... With a t send them away with a smile on their face. Yeah, I got to give you that one again, Bezel. Great pick, Josh Joe. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I got to find somebody similarly, you know, rousing for the audience. I think I know who I love and who the fans love and who has been on the cusp of greatness for a long time now. The Golden Rat Chunter, baby. Let's get rowdy. Let's roll those red dice. Let's show them the plays that they won't see anywhere else but Monday Night Claw. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's another good pick, Rick. You've got... Uh, he's got his own song, and uh, you've got the music going for Monday Night Claw. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, guys. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's time for me to make a pick. Uh, and I can tell you one thing. I'm being on comms all the time instead of just hanging out in the production amazing, truck backstage gosh. i can't sit here and chain smoke all of a sudden after an hour my lungs feel great and i am picking damned damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby <Damn>. well <laughs> um i'm sorry bezel but i think you're damned because you do there i don't feel too damned that i don't <laughs> but uh you know at least he goes with dimmy <laughs> 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 How can you possibly top that, uh, Rick? Good goodness knows. Well, um, I uh, I wouldn't want Damn Dave to do my science homework, but I know a man that would, and that is physics, baby. The man that's got it all. <laughs> he certainly does. He knows all about science. I would like to take him myself, but uh, unfortunately, you beat me to it. And if you like science, you like electricity, why not go with Mr. Blue Bomber? Mega Man himself. <laughs> oh, he's back. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Always uh always been quite keen on the blue bomber. I didn't know he was around, so you've uh, you've pulled one over my eyes there, Bezel, and I, I think uh, Gorilla Metzel will be grateful to you for that one. Uh, yeah, the genius indeed, Jack Ball. Exactly, exactly. Well, is it is it time to to pull out uh, my secret card? Are we ready? Mm. Yeah, I'm never gonna be ready, but pull it out. <laughs> Just whip That's it out, baby. Said. <laughs> I've got a I've got a mystery new signing, baby. Who could it be? I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you guys. Maybe you have to wait and see. Oh, my wow. goodness, mystery signing. I don't know who that is. But it's a Monday Night Claw pick. I'm going to assume they're pretty rich. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's time for me to grab the last big money signing available on the draft board. The million dollar Brett himself, Papa Piccolo. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, nice. Uh, a brilliant pickup for the, for the Plim Plum Plusers. I guess I've stolen enough of those for now as it is, but uh, but yeah, that's that's really going to enhance that division. Fair play to you, Bezel. Well, on the opposite side of that, um, I've been trying to sweep out as many of the super heavyweights as possible. They always draw the fans and put on a fantastic show. So I'm going to pick the guy so good in the ring, not so good on the mic because he gets a little hoarse, but uh, he's <laughs> recently challenged for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. It's Crusher, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crusher, he's going to be a great pick for you and a great fit for Monday Night Claw. Absolute legend. And meanwhile, on the Stand Firm side, we took Humor's Chip a few picks ago. We need to increase our uh, vehicle fleet. I'm going to pick the man with the motorcycle, Fiction. Oh, yeah. nice, yeah. No one will uh, quite give you a look through his shades like Fiction. That's, uh, yeah. 
Good, good going with these with these final picks. All right, I said I was uh, I was maybe staying a bit away from the Plim Plum Bluesers, but actually, this next guy doesn't necessarily look like he's got a Plim Plum Blueser physique, but uh, he's made of mostly water. I, I guess aren't we all? But this guy especially. <laughs> I'm going with the uh, the JFW Cabbage <laughs> Throwback baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, no, another fine pick. Uh, finally getting some vegetables into the Monday Night Class table. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Crush will be happy about that. <laughs> Cabbages or just carrots? <laughs> I don't know. Probably none of us do. <laughs> I make myself another pick now for Stan Firm. Let's take the sniper himself, the dangerous Welshman. Dionysian. Oh, yeah. Former <laughs> Wem Dope champion. Uh, but then who isn't? Yeah, Dio. Fair pick. Fair pick. He's a, he's a solid, solid performer in the ring. But I think I can go one better on former Wem Dope champions. Maybe the greatest former Wem Dope champion of all time. I can't believe he's this far down the list. Volkvagor, baby. Monday Night Claw. Volkvagor. Woo! Boy, howdy. <laughs> Amazing performer. That just shows you the depth of talent we have in the JFW. That somebody that good with such a great championship run would still be available this deep in the draft. We've got one more pick before we cut back to uh, some more in-ring action. Uh, I've just drafted myself a Welshman. I'm going to take another one. Maybe we'll team him up. Uh, I don't know, but uh, Gorilla can figure that out later. For now, I'm taking Artemis Black. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, perfectly fine wrestler. I'm not sure why you mentioned that him and Dio are Welsh, because all, all of the wrestlers that we've picked on this week have been. But uh, but yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, good point. One and nine, really game. <laughs> and now we are going back to ringside. We've got four picks uh, from today from each promotion, and we're going to throw them all into a big battle royale and see who ends up standing at the end. Boy, howdy, right, let's let's get to ringside. Too, too many people to watch them all enter. We're just going to throw them all in together and start the fight right away. Do these wrestlers know that they're supposed to be kind of a four-on-four -four team, or are we just going to see every man for himself while yeah. they all and stand out? It is absolutely every man for himself, yes. It's just a battle royale. Over the top row. Any anyone could win. Yes. And I can confirm, I know I'm not always the best on rules for various wrestling fights, but uh, there will be no action outside the ring today. <laughs> because once you once you find yourself on the twenty seven feet of concrete, you've been eliminated and it's time to go home. <laughs> That's, uh, thank you for clearing that up, uh, Bezel. I, I was a little confused. So, okay. Over the top rope and to the outside. Not from the outside over the top rope and to the inside. <laughs> Got it. Got yes. it. <laughs> yes, and there will be no opportunity to secure a pinfall or submission on the outside of the ring. <laughs> Unlike the Falls Count Anywhere match that we had at back. <laughs> Yes, we may well see someone attempt a pinfall outside the ring, but it is not going to count because oh. that would mean Whoa. both people were eliminated already. Oh, yeah, easier to throw it. Gone already. That is one each of Friday Night Stand Firm and Monday Night Claw's picks. And, and interestingly, oh well. no, no, hold on. <laughs> what have you done? You got rid of physics. <laughs> Claw on Claw action. When will the madness end? <laughs> As you can see, Dionysian, Throic, Physics, all just walking out of the area. <laughs> Nobody is attempting to pinfall anyone else. <laughs> it's beginning to feel like it might finally be Friday Night Stands Firm's moment where they, they break the voodoo and make it 3-0-1 versus the Monday Night Claw Superstars this week. Could be. So we've got Odin left from Monday Night Claw, Jack Bull left from Monday Night Claw, and Artemis Thor and Dam Dave left from Friday Night Stand Firm. So it's 60% in favor of Stand Firm versus 40% Claw. I like those odds. 
Oh, Artemis bust open though by Thor. These guys don't care which roster they're on. This isn't a team competition. As we saw Odon eliminating physics earlier. And now Thor busting Artemis Black wide open. Thor. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He has enraged him though, Artemis <laughs> nearly eliminating Thor in retaliation, but damn Dave coming in and taking Artemis from behind. Artemis fighting back now though, and Thor! Oh my goodness, it's the Claws versus the Stand Firm. They've split off into their group. Jesus. Oh my word, Artemis getting demolished by Thor and Dave. Basically a two on one, and now that he's uh, completely out of it, they turn on each other. Jackpool. Oh no, Jackpool! Oh, you, no, you don't have the range! You don't have the range! He's got it! He doesn't have the range! Miracle! <laughs> oh man. That could definitely be the end of Odon, so he's not trying to get him out just yet. Thor survives on the apron and gets himself back in. Artemis now trying to help out with eliminating Odon. Oh, and he gets him. He gets him. There's only one Monday Night Claw superstar left. That is Jack Bull. He will celebrate regardless of whether he wins or not. But it is seriously starting to look like Friday Night Stand Firm at their first win this week. Sure does. Well, it's all going to come down to the main event then. Or so we hope to see which side can win. Uh, we don't want to see a 3-0-0. I know Rick does, but <laughs> the fans want to see a close and exciting competition. Uh, that would be better for all the uh, all the neutrals, all of the JFW universe that love both shows, and I can't blame them for that. You know, one uh, one questionable commentator doesn't doesn't a show ruin. The superstars are what make it, and they are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and uh, and and nothing to ruin this Friday night stand firm at all. In fact, what a great show so far. Yep. We are doing our best to try and keep both shows exciting for the fans. I know uh, some of you have uh, a one that you prefer, and it's going to be pretty great uh, either way. But we want to make sure both Monday Night Claw and Friday Stand Firm are at the peak of AI wrestling entertainment. All with the fall away slam on damn Dave. And then uh, Artemis and Jackal went to each other and got a simul dicing as uh, they both completely missed belly to belly from Dab Dave and Artemis as they now pick on new partners and they swap back again. Oh my goodness, it's uh, it's like a, a Victorian dance. <laughs> oh, Artemis! Oh, wow, well, Kekwudi. <laughs> Kek How is indeed. Art still doing this? He's been battered and beaten for so long. Well, he's taking a lot of shots to the head, and he's got he's got he's got a gigantic head, so that doesn't bother him that much. <laughs> oh my god! Damn Dave gets rid of Thor. Artemis with the Samoan drop on Damn Dave, and he's absolutely wiped out Jackal. You're right; he's been beaten to smithereens, but nobody's got rid of him. And right now, he's in complete control. No, oh, Art, you need to go for Jack Bull, who's doing push-ups. <laughs> push oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Jack Bull might win it. We're down to the final two. Is it going to be Jack Bull? Is it going to be Artemis? Oh, right now it does look like Artemis. Jack Bull too busy doing his push-ups. Too many people redeem the channel points. <laughs> oh, no. Shoulder tackle takedown. Jack Bull in control. Come on, Monday Night Claw. They've pulled it back from 75% to 25 No, no, not the top rope. <laughs> oh, he's hit this before, and he's hit oh. it again. He hits it. Wow, somebody put a... No! Again! Why? Why? <laughs> He's done it! <laughs> I oh my try. goodness. As spectacular and glorious as these are, they're not winning in the match. He needs to throw Artemis over the top rope. Wow. It looks like that may be coming. Oh, maybe No, not. Artemis oh. kicks him away. Elbow Where is... Jackal, super kick, only to the gut. Where is Art finding these reserves of stamina, of strength? Jackal's staring him down it's, face to face. It's the, oh, here we go. Here we go. Up and over, baby. Come the, on. Monday Night Claw, 4-0-0. Zero, zero. From out of nowhere. Let the man celebrate. It's what he lives for. <laughs> Those marathon 20-hour COD sessions is what's prepared him for this. Artemis desperately fighting back, thinking of his precious win percentage. <laughs> you can get to being eliminated and still hang on. Art is... Really pushing the limits here. Both of these men very passionately want to get the W. Artemis now 
with the leg drag takedown. Celebrates in style. He knows he's got this. Jack Paul slumps in the corner. Oh, my word. Gets absolutely demolished. I think it's over, guys. I think Friday night stand firm. Oh, Have their first win of the week. I think you're right. I think you're right. Here it Good is. No! <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. 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 Jack Paul is your winner. What an amazing finish! <laughs> <laughs> now he'll definitely oh, look Jack less of an idiot celebrating. Legend represent. <laughs> diced, diced again, really, game. <laughs> <laughs> I can confess, I've been watching this for years, and I don't think I've ever seen a match end look quite like that before. It was pretty incredible, wasn't it? <clears throat> Absolutely. We need yep. to get... Genuinely phenomenal. <laughs> Genuinely about as good as a Battle Royal gets. That was really a showpiece. And again, displaying very nicely how great both sets of superstars are, and that Monday Night Claw superstars are only that tiny, tiny bit better. <laughs> yep. Well, they're having a good night tonight on Friday Stand Firm, really rubbing it in the face of Gorilla Mezzo. <laughs> if he ever gets free and uh, escapes from his current predicament, he's going to be a little disappointed. He sure will be. He's going to blame me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, well. Rich Chivani's back on the clock for picking for Claw. All right, okay, just give me a sec. Right, got it down to two. All right, I got a, I got a great idea. I got a great idea. You're going to love this one, guys. Are you ready? Yep. I'm ready. I'm going for the good boy himself. Wolfbark, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We've already got the good boy himself, JBG, here and stand firm. You've got, what you've picked is a poor oh, no. second alternative. Oh no, you're right. Oh no, you're right. I got the dog's dinner. <laughs> it's a shame we can't team them up together, the good boy and the good boy. But uh, I, got, I got the mongrel. Oh, oh yeah. I pulled that one. Uh, that probably ruined some plan Gorilla Mezzo had for 2027. But what will make you? I've got to make a pick now, don't I? How about I start taking some tag teams? Uh, you'll get two picks in a row after this, Mr. Rick Shivani, because I am taking Root Damn, Shani, and Fault Force. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Another tag team for uh, for Friday Night Stand Firm. Shawnee, uh, one of the uh, the JFW historical greats, and I, I always love to see him. On the other hand, I will accept you guys taking Fault Force any day of the week. <laughs> so, it seemed, it seemed so thank like you very free. much, Basil. You know, I wanted Johnny and Fall Force is free. <laughs> I, I don't want to see the viewing figures when you have a Fall Force versus Elp Me match. Let me just put it that way. Guys. <laughs> you may put them together as a tag team. You don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two, two in a row. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with my super heavyweights. The one... Undead JFW superstar that seems to have any competence in tag team wrestling. Gengar, baby. Woo! Mm, great pick, Gengar. Huge man. Huge tomb guardian. Yeah, very exciting. Nothing at all like the uh, the Yeti in uh, WCW. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, all right. Gosh, okay. I'm trying to work out who uh, who you might pick, Bezel. <laughs> trying to work out who you might pick. So, all right, I'm worried you're going to pick this one, so I'm going to take it first. WR Spenny. Oh, jeez, he was my next pick. Oh, you, you saw you me. Don't, you don't get all of the uh, the Welsh brood, baby. <laughs> yeah, you saw me trying to reassemble the crew. That's C R capital E W E, <laughs> and I would. Be... You just ruined it for me. Um, I guess all I can do in response is to try and continue to make the tag team division on Monday Night Claw as weak as possible. I am taking the last big, famous, 
and arguably not that successful tag team, it's Norse Country, Space Cadet, and more Plovach. Oh, man. I, I tell you what, a great pick, but but maybe not for the reasons that you think. I I really, really wanted my third and final member of, uh, of Quad Skulls. They have now been separated two and two. And yeah, got it to see him go. So yeah, great, great pick there, Bezel. It's just an extra bonus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Two two birds with one stone. All right, well, I've left this one really, really late. Um, and uh, the reason being that uh, Gorilla Mezzo said he wasn't going to pick him for some reason, and he's absolutely wondrous, Clavius, baby. Oh, baby, what a what an outrageously late pick for Clavius. Unbelievable, Jim. Yeah, he's been uh, one of the original greats from way back in the day. And now you've got uh, some excellent eyebrows on Claw, and you've got one more pick because I just took a tag team. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Man, my final pick, and it's a choice of two. What a choice it is. Um, but it's a Friday night, baby. So I'm going to go with the guy that brews his own beer, has been the streamer champion before, Straight out of Canada, firstborn baby. Woo! Yeah, there he is. Great pick, firstborn. Uh, I've, got, I've got one pick left, don't I? Oh, uh, gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, who's still available? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to pour through that a bit. There oh. Are... oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. We there's there's a there's a brawl break breaking out backstage. What's going oh, on here? Yeah. Whoa! All right. Well, we'll let these these ladies fight. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'll take Marcel McDaniels. He <laughs> likes the ladies. And here we are. It's Mrs. Wenger and Tran fighting backstage. <laughs> Glorious. Wow, what is uh what is going down here? Mrs. Wenger upset by the recent success of Tran. Feeling like she's a bit of a, a new upstart, needs putting in a place, maybe. <laughs> she's the, the real the real star of the ladies division. There's no, so, I feel like Gorilla so Mento many, would like me there? to say at this point that this, of course, is only two of the many, <laughs> many female superstars in the ladies' JFW division that will be exclusive to Friday Night Stand Firm. <laughs> so uh, just watch this space on a Friday to, uh, to see many, many more in the future. But tonight we have these two in, in an unofficial... Backstage brawl, and yeah, I can't quite believe this is broken out, but uh, but there you go. A lot of pride on the line for Mrs. Wanger. She wants to show Tren and the entire JFW universe that she is indeed top of the pile. <laughs> We've seen a lot of these ladies uh, fighting each other backstage. Uh, I think it's going to be great uh, that they're going to have their own division on Friday Stand Firm, and maybe we can feature them more in the ring. <laughs> And also that would be ideal, even when it's false count anywhere, of course. Right. We will feature them more in the ring. And sometimes outside of the ring, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they, uh, they're they so into their backstage brawls. They're uh, the, the only demographic more prone to these kind of fights is the commentary team. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Yeah, we have seen an awful lot of uh, Rick. We've seen a lot of Famir fighting here in the hallways. Occasionally getting don't. slammed into electrical boxes. Pretty rough. That's uh, that's how we train our commentary. We don't need to mention uh, just what the record is in those matches either. <laughs> could could oh, be anything. It's probably 50-50. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd guess so off the top of my head. You know, we're, we're not uh, JFW encyclopedias. Oh, my word! Trent sending Mrs. Wang ahead first through the door into the office. Oh, my goodness. Jim Spaman will not be happy if this room gets ruined. No, I think you'll be a little upset that somebody's watching Monday Night Claw here on Friday Stand Firm. Yes. They've got the wrong show on television. What are they, four days behind? <laughs> right? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Trent twice now taking carpet burns. Even worse than landing on the concrete. <laughs> oh, I don't God. know for sure. I'm going to assume that there are 27 feet of concrete under that carpet as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Terminus! Terminus oh, onto the carpet! Oh, oh no, that's gotta be it! It's not! Whoa. How is Trent continuing? Wow. <laughs> Great job from the camera crew. 
<laughs> oh man, feeds her into the door. <laughs> Somehow, Trent's still fighting on. She's been absolutely battered and bruised. She's done so well in the ring, but I've got to hand it to Mrs. Wanger. No one is touching her in these backstage brawls. Well, that's a counter from Trent, though. She seemed like she was defying gravity just to stay standing, but now she's got a finisher lined up. It's the potato drop. <laughs> oh my goodness, the potato <laughs> drop onto the concrete. That's where you want to drop your potatoes, let me tell you. Oh, she grabs the chair. I spoke oh. too soon. Oh, oh my, my day. God. Oh, my day. Devastating oh my chair God. shot. This one is right back in the balance. Anybody's to win. Trent could have this any moment, but here comes Mrs. Wanger again. Oh, vicious stomp. I think the next big move is going to win this, both of them, in a horrible way now. They have gone to town on each other. The grapple is there. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> onto the, onto the case. What is even in that box? Oof, it's full of potatoes. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> is, this, is this another terminus? It is. Oh, this has got to be the end. That's definitely oh, it. Trent is done and dusted. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh this is way with another victory. She Absolutely is. brutal. Back on top of the women's division. And that's an impressive feat when there's so many quality contenders. Yep. <laughs> well, now oh. it's time for the main event, which is a Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship is on the line with four of the stand firm superstars. We've got Elt Meme, we've got Lebred Mask, we've got Moradan, and the champ himself, Muppet Pac Man. Well, well I, I tell you what, Jim, it's nice to have just seen, and we will see again, some Friday Night Stand Firm wrestlers getting a win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will finally be a victory for Friday Stand Firm, won't it? It will, guaranteed. <laughs> Hopefully, unless the game crashes. <laughs> it's all part of Gorilla's long plan. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty exciting, though. We're not expecting to see a belt defended at the end of this show, but here we are. We've had another uh, amazing night of drafting. We've split the brands completely, uh, and uh, a full list is in Discord if you're interested. Nice. And uh, here we are with the Friday Night Stand Firm. They are going to be the home of the Plim Plom Pluser Weight Belt. Whoever wins tonight's match is going to have that belt. Oh, Such baby. a long plan that Gorilla Mezzo doesn't even need to show up to some Friday night stand firms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, and here he is, the filing gimp himself. Help me. Still a bit of a mystery pick so early this by Gorilla Mezzo. All right. Everyone thought he'd be left till last. Picked him really early. Said he had his reasons and he'd let us know why, but he's not even here to tell us. Well, he plays his cards close to his flashy red vest. I don't think he would be spoiling his future plans anyway. But he's got something in mind. He must, right? To, uh, otherwise, it just makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah. This and is... that <laughs> Gorilla Mezzo would never not make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Picking out meme does not make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> No. It does not, but again, he uh, Gorilla's got a plan. Trust the plan. Mm. But yeah, in all seriousness, this is a this is a monster match. What a, what a great match he's booked here. Absolutely fantastic main event of Friday Night Stand Firm. I am quite envious of it. Championship on the line of a wonderful division that I'm going to miss dearly. And Muppet, who only just finally won the title back after many years without having been one of the greats of the Plim Plum Pluserweight division might now lose it very easily in fact he would not fancy him hint to retain against such strong competition as the three men in the other corners and i know who would be gorilla's favorite if he was here it'll be this man the bread mask well it's friday night and who better to show what he can do than the friday fuck boy la bread mask <laughs> that's right it is two his men enter in, uh, in more ways than one, you're right, BZL. Yeah, we've had two men enter, both masked. Yeah, both without eye holes. <laughs> yeah, there may be a theme. I don't know. Again, and not up to me. It's just happening. <laughs> Do you have a gimp off, indeed? 
<laughs> well, if you don't want to pick a gimp, we've got a literal fucking goblin walking down that ramp right now with his uh, goblin and cheers. I don't know what he's going to use those for, but you don't want to find out either. <laughs> well, I'm still devastated that CBT have been drafted to Friday Night Sound for my favorite tag team in the uh, much beloved two heads championship division. But uh, but here we are. Maybe Moradam will make a name for himself as a plim plum plus away instead. Goodness knows what they're going to do with Cocky. But uh, but yeah, we always said that their strength was as a team and that individually they weren't so strong. Maybe Moradam's going to prove us wrong tonight. Against mm -hmm. Because they don't pay me enough to gamble. <laughs> This is a four-man match. We've got one more person to come down that ramp. It is, of course, your Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion, Muppet Pac-Man. He lets his fists do the talking. He just has no idea what they're going to say. He has less control over them than we do. <laughs> Don't say anything, Tony. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Well, if you don't give a damn about your reputation, this is the wrestler for you. It's Muppet Pac Man, your Plim Plom Loser champion. Oh, Can he defend it? I uh, once again I wouldn't bet against him. <laughs> Absolutely no bets allowed. This is a family show. No bets, no cussing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ezel, do we know where falls do and don't count in this matchup? I couldn't tell you. I'm just going to assume that falls count anywhere. Inside the ring, outside the ring, back up in that office that we saw where uh, Trent and Mrs. Wanger were having to go at each other. We'll find out. Maybe there won't be any falls. Maybe this will be a long four-person draw and we'll just cancel the whole show. <laughs> that, that is one way that uh, Friday Night Stamp Firm could go the entire week without a win. It'd be sad to see. Even even I'm rooting for him in this one. A <laughs> winner out of this, this match. Take my fucking money and put it on ELPMEME. -E. <laughs> Moppet looks pretty excited early on. He's, oh, he's stomping the bread in the face and celebrating. <laughs> Not in that order, but sure. <laughs> Thank you very much, Physics. Absolutely glorious thousand bits. He's go he's going for Elt Meme, Physics. I mean, we thought he was super intelligent, but he's he's betting on Elt Meme. <laughs> Maybe oh, Physics the is in on the this first one to get a weapon here. What does he find? A baseball. It's a bat. But... Oh. oh, but Muppet just catching him out in time. That could have been the beginning of the end of Muppet's championship reign had he not prevented that bat shot. Well. We don't know that it's it's a baseball bat. It could be some other kind of implement uh, for Elmin. Who knows? <laughs> oh, God. It <laughs> does go with his outfit. That? Who knows what Elmin would do with it? Yeah. <laughs> Physics uh, kindly donating his money to Jim <laughs> McMahon because he is not winning that bet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just getting some new information now. Uh, I'm told that Gorilla Mezzo, as we all know, was kidnapped just before the start of the show. Uh, there was a 1,000-bit uh, ransom placed on his head, and uh, Physics has just paid that. So Gorilla Mezzo is in the process of being released, uh, and hopefully he will be back in safe and sound in time for a Friday Night Stand Firm next week. Oh, thank goodness. It's wonderful to hear that nobody was seriously harmed. Yeah. And also, you can kidnap somebody and only uh, place a ten dollar ransom on their head. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly just gorilla. amazed that anybody uh, turned up with the money for gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you have enough loose change hanging around, like, you know, in the cushions under your couch or in your that little jar where you throw coins when you get home. <laughs> Uh, well, I got a theory, guys. I think Physics might have actually been the one to kidnap him, and he's just paid to uh, for somebody to take him back. That's possible. He does have a giant brain. He may have made a plan. 
to break even somehow. <laughs> yeah. Normally, when you kidnap someone, you are not the one paying the ransom, but, you know, physics, too smart for us. <laughs> it could be some uh, fine Albert details. taking a, a battering quietly from Mardam here. He, he is off to a great start in his Ooh. Plim Blues weight career. You love to see it, and oh, he can fly like the best of them. He is uh, kind of what El is into, right? We won't be too upset about these developments. <laughs> Yeah, Al Meme's not out here to win. He's just out here to make the other competitors as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> it's working. Okay. Some he is. He's actually having to go, though, against LeBron. Let's go! Oh, Muppet! No! Ooh. Oh, no! The little puppets! Oh. That looked uncomfortable, too, just as it is for all of us watching. Oh! Oh man! Oh, this is elimination, by the way. This match is—it's not first pin. It is elimination, so it'll keep going until there are two men left in the ring. Boganovic is not having any grandchildren. Oh, but a DDT from Muppet on Maradam. So the match will continue to go inside the ring, or possibly also outside the ring, <laughs> until there are two men remaining. Yes. Help me! <laughs> but only put pins away inside the, the mask, ring. Oh, the favorite of Gorilla Benzo, he's, he's got it! He's got him! Oh, Unbelievable! And meanwhile, Muppet Pac-Man has just did some flipper roots and whatnots. More damn! Oh, oh no, there's there's Alt Meme interrupting. Oh, we, we might have underestimated Alt Meme here. Oh my God! Shame concede for the Bread Mask. <laughs> the only option. Maybe, maybe Gorilla Mezzo is onto something. <laughs> Drafting. Oh, we can't get Muppet up though. Muppet too heavy for Alt Meme. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Uh, no lifting allowed in the Plum Plum Plus weight division. We don't want these people to get too big and strong. That's quite uh, they reasonable. might accidentally be moved to Monday Night Claw oh. if that happens. It was absolutely brutal. Wait, wait, I got a new theory, guys. I got a new theory. Gorilla Metso faked the kidnapping. And the, the reason why he drafted Elk Meme was he actually didn't want Elk Meme as a wrestler. He wanted the gimp suit, and it's Gorilla Mezzo in the gimp suit tonight. That's my new theory, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> well, it's possible, but I can't imagine Gorilla Mezzo being able to fit into that suit. <laughs> it's a good part. <laughs> but we had some magic with Mr. E and Tony plays poorly. Who knows? He fooled the world. <laughs> Anything is possible, but then that is a very tight and slimming outfit that Elton is wearing. But it still just seems a little bit too much for me. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does look somewhat tight, which is how he likes it. <laughs> yep. I mean, rolls to the outside. Not the worst place to be. Ooh! Oh no, the little puppet oh, again. Oh. That is surely oh, the puppet. end of Muppet's title reign. Maradam to put Muppet away and make it one-on-one -on -one between him and Elmeme for the title. He's done it! He's done he's it! He's got run. it Muppet! Guaranteed new, new champion. champion, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like it's going to be Elmeme! Oh what my god! It is! He's going to do it! The real Avenzo, <laughs> secret genius! No, not yet! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no balls, no fair. <laughs> oh man. The goblin's natural counter. <laughs> Help me working over the arm of Moradam, trying to soften him up for a submission. What a ridiculous start this would be to Moradam's Plim Plop Blues Away wow. career. Wow. He's the champ. He's the new champ. What a move. Oh, oh my no. god. I mean, he survived. Oh, oh, here we go. It's he over. Can't take this. And here comes the... Oh. 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 Who oh. knew? Oh. Elvin does have testicles. <laughs> Confirm. Moradam, baby. Done Woo. He's done it! Unbelievable! A literal flipping oh. goblin is the Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion. Oh, I need to give him the champion. I see cool, amazing things in his future on Friday night. Stand firm. Wow. Yeah, amazing move by Gorilla Metso drafting CBT. But what is going to happen to Cocky? Uh, I mean, that's the big question now, isn't it? But, uh, wow. Moradam straight into winning the title. Unbelievable, Jim. Yeah, it would have been interesting if Help Mean had won this title himself. I don't know if that's uh, something that uh, Gorilla had planned or if it would have just completely upset all his careful 
uh, his entire web of in uh, deceit and whatnot. But here we are with more damage, your Plim Plom Pluserweight Champion. That's your show for tonight. The whole draft is over, and from next Monday, we will be seeing Monday Night Claw and Friday Night Stand Firm as two separate entities, but both under the auspices of the JFW. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be a mission, guys. <laughs> Don't yes. miss either show. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Pezzle. Mr. Thank you McMahon, so thank you for having me, and I will talk to all you fine people soon. Glorious. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, Bezel. Uh, amazing step up and job tonight. Uh, what a pleasure sharing the booth with you. Made my evening. So, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, JFW Universe. What a crazy week of drafting. And uh, now the future is laid out. Let's start walking down that path together, baby. Woo! Woohoo! Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>